my time in Thailand melted my brain. I think there are certain things you do in life that dissolve perspective. You enter with something and you leave seeing the world in a different way. It wasn't just the people, it wasn't just the land, it wasn't just the cannabis or just the food. It was everything together. There's something that you can taste, that you can feel, that you can see, but it's very hard to describe. Something that maybe some people only get to see once in a lifetime. It left me in awe of the relationships people can have and have had with cannabis. Something that has still been sitting very heavy with me is the juxtaposition. People have been producing cannabis for over a thousand years in this region. And people are producing contemporary cannabis now and flocking there in very large numbers to produce. And it should just feel like more of the same, but instead it feels like these two relationships are not at odds, but haven't fully clashed. I feel like I'm on the line of where the river meets the ocean. It's a clear line there, but both things are just water. And we noticed this when we went to Northern Thailand and we saw not just fields of cannabis, but cannabis in the yards of many people that live there, right next to the other plants that they were growing to eat or to use as a part of their lives. But then you start talking about how this new world of cannabis exists and how people are engaging with it and the things that are exciting to them. And you start seeing these wheels turn people that have had a relationship that predates Western society with cannabis. And now they're looking at where is the edge? Where can we take this to put this thing we love on the stage for the world to appreciate in the way we do? And then on the other side, you see a lot of people that are growing contemporary cannabis. One of the cleanest facilities I have ever seen in my life was a university run facility in Bangkok with a civil engineer heading the entire facility who doesn't consume cannabis. The rosin they were making tasted and looked good. And you start seeing that they're using really old genetics, but really new genetics. And you just keep seeing the line where the river meets the ocean. And I'm just left in awe of this merging of cultures, of thoughts, all surrounded on a love for this plant. You know, there were a lot of moments on this trip that blew my mind. Going on the little boat was crazy. Traveling across the country, running around Bangkok, meeting all these farms. At every turn, expectations were defied. At every turn. But there was a moment that I will remember for the rest of my life. I get emotional talking about it. And it's the time that we spent in Northern Thailand. The way we saw it is we're going to a place as visitors and they're going to show us around. And we're very lucky that they're taking the time to do this. What we didn't expect was how much they would appreciate our presence. And we spent the whole day together. And something that they said was that they haven't seen Westerners come through that part of the country and hang with them and spend time with them in a decade. And so we had this big, what felt like the entire town came through, all outside where the fish that we're eating was caught in the pond that we're sitting next to. And they set up this beautiful, beautiful dance for us. And we're just watching this in awe of something that you feel like you'd only see on TV. And for the rest of the night, we laughed, we smoked, we made tie sticks together, we hung out with the kids and rode scooters with them, we danced against our will, but we danced. It was one of the most beautiful experiences of my life, and I have cannabis to thank for that. You know, going to Thailand, I thought this is the last time that we or anyone gets to go there and experience this really quickly growing community and economy of cannabis there. And we didn't meet a single person who confirmed that thought in the entire trip. And the amount of pride that I saw, you know, they, they genuinely believe Thai weed is the best in the world, that their relationship is not just something special, but has led to a product that they wholeheartedly believe in. And they're looking at how can they mature this product in a way that can speak to the world and not just the locals in Thailand from the people there for the culture to the people there for the dollar, 10 toes down, fully invested in the future of Thailand being focused on cannabis. This is just the beginning. And that was proven through and through on this trip. Please do me a favor and subscribe and put notifications on. We are jumping deep into the things that we learned while we were out in Thailand. And I don't want you to miss a second of it. So please subscribe, sign up for those notifications, and stay tuned. This is probably the favorite story we've ever gotten to tell.